TV taught me how to dream. How was it playing with Boogie and AD? Whew. Mm. Two of my favorites, y'all. That's what Two I want to know. Favorites. Two of my favorites, y'all. I, as y'all seen, you feel my career now. I've been trying to play with them two the last four or five years, y'all. They, they wanted one and two the best to do in the game. And uh, I call them Tim Duncan and David Robinson on steroids. That's what I call them two, especially when they was I'm in New Orleans. I'm telling you, um, listen, when I got with them in New Orleans, I, I thought I had it figured out. <laughs> I thought I had a blueprint to success. We was going to shock the world with that group, yo. Cause towards yeah, ACL. I believe it. I believe we it. We had a big three. It. And uh, what was so dope about that is at first, um, you know, Cuz and AD, you know, they they both would go get try to go get 50. And uh, I'm like, Cuz, nigga, you can you could damn near have a triple-double with this lineup. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, let AD get to 50, you get 15, 15, and 20. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. kill it that way. And then you got you got Drew in the pick and roll that you can't fuck with. You know what I mean? So it's like, nigga, we got a, a baby big, uh, uh, a monster big three over here that niggas ain't even, they sleeping on. Like I said, if, mm -hmm. I was, if we would ever get uh, Golden State in the playoffs with Cuz, mm -hmm. AD, Andrew, come on, man. Ooh. I don't know if they're going to match up with that. Because you, you got to put Draymond on Cuz. Yep. Yeah. You know what he trying to do. But he bullied basketball. So mm -hmm. we get that nigga in foul trouble early. Then, like I said, who going who gonna to check AD? It's it's Y'all was, nice. was missing. Y'all was missing Matt Barnes and Ron Artest and Steven Jackson. Y'all was missing that three guard that could defend and shoot. Y'all had everything else. You, Drew. Boogie and AD, y'all just needed that three guard. I wouldn't even. I, I wouldn't even talk about. I wouldn't. Even, I didn't even need to be on the on the court. Them three on the court, you can't <laughs> stop them. Bro. You can't stop them. You put them in a C action. You put cause of the elbow with the ball. Now he making a play. Yeah. Drew pinned down for AD. Like what you gonna switch? Like you can't, pick, you your can't pick, pick your poison. Pick your poison. You can't. You can't stop everything. How tough knowing you know obviously K Kentucky ties, but then just being a good dude, you got a chance to play with him in Sacramento. I think Cuz is so misunderstood. How I'm tough was it for you as a as a brother seeing him go down when he finally got into position? He was up for two hundred plus million that year, mm -hmm. and y'all had a hell of a team. What was that like to you as a brother, just seeing him have to go through all that shit? It was it was sickening, and then the disrespect on his name, and man, man, you know, even even to this day now, it's like y'all, this nigga can argue the best in the game. Y'all, I don't know if like you niggas seeing like when he gets the ball, like or what you scared of, but. He a great dude, yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you know, some people are, are like that. If he smell blood, he gonna eat. But if, you know, if you stand up for yourself or you speak up, he ain't. He gonna he gonna respect that. You know what I mean? Understand that. Okay, cool. I understand where you're. But if not, you know, people are, you know are intimidated by his his dominant presence and his demeanor. But like I said, you get to know the man. Uh, he's one of my favorite teammates uh, of all time. Uh, I love playing with him and. I think he's one of the best to ever do it, yo. I, I hated that he went down yeah. back to back injuries like that. And and like I said, just even like I said, those two with them two, they could change the game back to where niggas looking for big mans because we can right? stretch the, we, we can stretch the floor all we want, but shit, the, the game is one of the paint. I mean, that motherfucker, mm -hmm. you can't stop him. He gonna demand. I'm a saying this now. Demand a double. I'm saying this now. Boogie Cousins, Boogie Cousins, comeback player of the year. Watch. I hope man, so, man. What if he? Watch. Nice. If he's healthy, if he's healthy. Mm -hmm. He gonna fuck it up down there. I already know that one thousand mm -hmm. percent. Ain't nobody. You, you, he yeah. gonna demand a double for sure. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm glad well, he got say, another shot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I say to be honest with you, you could we could go back and forth. But as far as skilled centers, he's probably the most skilled big man we've ever seen. From there was not a hole in his game from the block to the three point line. There wasn't a hole. What, he had what, everything. You know, what, you know what I love about that motherfucker boy is when we play Sacramento. When I was stuck with him, you know, before every game was a big man, we had to play against. He'd be like, "Nigga, I'm about to fuck this nigga up." I'd be like, "Ooh, I can't wait to give you the ball, big fella." He's I love it. I love to hear 50. that. Like he won. He was like, "Nigga, I'm ready." To fuck all them other these bigs they talking about that was cool. I ain't gonna say no name, but he was fucking them all up, yo. And they know that them niggas was mm, friends. Straight up, niggas was getting niggas was getting thrown out the game because they don't play against this nigga, man. He was an animal, Ooh. like. And they watching was, they film, were scared of him. Listen, watching Ooh. film back when, like I said, I told you how, like, I watched myself and I used to watch Cuz when I was inside. Man, that nigga, the shit he used to do, like, on film that you didn't even see, unreal, yo. He was, he reminded me a lot of, a little bit of KG, you know what I mean? Like, he might, you know what I mean? Boom, they give you one of these, you know, off the rebound. A nigga, a nigga ain't saying nothing. Like, he just, he was a bully, yo. And, mm -hmm. uh, he, he, could, he could talk about it, he can back it up with his game. He go get you 50 and 20, like, easy. 
Easy. That that's what I'm saying. World. Easy. And but like Easy. you said, don't sleep on how good he could pass the motherfucking ball. Oh, like I said, he could really I... average a triple double. That's how good he Easy. is. Easy. He gonna demand a double. He can throw one hand wrap around any pass mm-hmm. you name, uh, and he can bring the bitch off the off the um, off the glass. Like, like, give me the ball. He'd be like, all right. But I said I had to let him bring it up the court. Like he was too good mm-hmm. not to me trying to like, okay, let me go get the bar at time. Like, he, <laughs> right, he, get he, out the he way. got it. I got, I got to get out of the way. I got to run the flow. Mm-hmm. Let me try to set a step up or something. Shit, let me get involved. But he was, <laughs> he, he, he could play, yo. He had some moves. Yeah, that boy could play. <clears throat> yeah, man. I hope you know, all for all of you know, for his sake, but definitely coming from all of us, man. I hope he has a healthy bounce back year because he was. It, it was sad the way the game was taken from him at the, at the point of career where he was at. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I mean? He was still young. Like I said, he was on the brink of two hundred million. Never get the two hundred million back. But I think at the end of the day, he just wants to play. He just wants to be healthy and have a chance. And hopefully, he'll have that in Houston, man. So, if you see this, you big ugly motherfucker, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy, though. I love Boogie. I, I had a chance to play with him in Sacramento, man, and it was almost like I was a cousin whisper. Like they would come to me because Rondo right. knows he don't re- he don't really fuck with or respect too many people, but he, when he respects you, he'll listen to you. So I'm sure he, I'm sure Rondo had his ear, but I had his ear too. So it was me kind of like, because Jack, you know me and you, like for me to have to try to calm down you or you to try to calm down me. Just seeing his young fire was like us in in in, in, in Golden State. So me just trying yep. to you know ma- maneuver him through the technical fouls and you don't need all this Facts. and let me handle this and right. let me get in trouble for you like let me. But he was figuring it out, man. And I really think you know it, 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 it's sad how quick people forget. But then like you said, the disrespect put on his name because he was the coldest big in the game when he was healthy. Facts. Yep. No question. 